How am I doing? Can you see me? Do you recognize me? Am I convincing? As you, I mean. Because when you do us, I have to say you're pretty hopeless. For example, zzz, that's not actually the sound we make. And then, you often make us black and white and striped. There's no such thing as a black and white striped bee. And you never get our hair right. But never mind, you try, I'm trying. So, am I a convincing human? The look at me, I mean. We'll get to the humanity in me later. I studied you, like any good actor preparing a role. Your movements, your speech, do I sound like you? More or less? Anyway, you don't all sound the same, just as we don't. As long as I'm sounding more or less human and happy. Am I? I mean, sounding more or less human. I'm not asking you if I'm happy, that seems very complicated as human. But now I need some help. What you call acting notes. I'm being human, so I can convincingly be you. There are some things I still don't understand. I know that as well as looking more or less alike, you're all different, the way we're all different. Although, from the way you portray us, I don't think you know much about us. Let me explain. There are bees who live in hives, sort of like your apartment blocks, and they produce honey, a bit like factory or office workers. And there are solitary bees, who are a bit more individualistic, and live in gardens and hedges and nest underground, but basically all of us. Honey, bumble, mason, miner, carpenter, hairy-footed morning, sweat, squash, blueberry, leaf cutter, longhorn, pollinate everything, which means that as we go out our business, the planet keeps going, it's healthy. I could tell you a lot more, but that's not my purpose, since I'm you. The thing is, I can't figure out exactly what you do. That is, how you keep the planet going, which is what every living thing does. For example, as a bee, I look for flowers, so I fly with a purpose, I search, I hover, I spot a flower, I land, and then I have a kind of dialogue. It might have been sprayed with a chemical, so it tells me immediately not to stay there. It could hurt me. I quickly go to another flower. On that one, there could have been uh, another bee just before me, so it tells me, sorry mate, you're too late. And then eventually, I find a flower. It is a good one, and I stay there and collect whatever it has to give me, and as I do this, I spread a little pollen around, so it's happy, because that'll make more flowers. The exact way living things reproduce is complex, and I won't get into it. Whereas I've noticed you humans do sex pretty simply. No. No, I'm not going to do human sex right now. Maybe another time. Okay. Here I am. A human. Yes? No, I move. You seem to have a lot of ways of moving. Sometimes with your long legs, sometimes with your short legs, sometimes without legs and in rolling boxes. I'm going to try legs. I move. But I seem to have no direction. There's a good flower right in front of me, but I don't see it. Instead, I go for that one over there. It tells me it's full of chemicals. It's dangerous. But I absolutely insist on feeding on it. Why don't I, a human, know what's good for me? And sometimes, I see a bee, or a human, and I try to push it off. That's how you do threat, yes? But why? And sometimes, it sort of whizz about here and there for no reason. I think you call it exercise, jogging. You're in a straight line and miss all the flowers. And sometimes, you pile into one of your moving boxes with your short legs at right angles, like this. Do I go right? What are you looking for from those boxes? I think you call it motivation. I'm really trying to get into my human character, but there seems to be a lack of consistency. Is there something I'm not getting? Here I am, doing actions, but I can't find an intention. And there's something else. When you see me, as a bee, that is, and I'm not moving, I'm still, I watch, I'm alert. But you're often not moving, not still. Twitching. Oh, yes. It is. Maybe it's grooming. We do grooming, too. We clean our legs and our antennae. I notice... I don't notice you're much better afterwards. You haven't spread anything good around you. So I can't see the purpose. Maybe it's... You're evolutionary. Scaring off predators. You seem to be very, very frightened of something called boredom. Maybe boredom is one of your worst predators. That's it. Got it. I twitch. To scare off my predators. Does it work? And back to purpose. How you find it. How you make yourself yourself. I think it's also called an objective or a use. Why is it so difficult to find? Acting is hard. Acting human is really, really hard. If I were a bee, advising another bee on their objective, I think you also call it a journey. I'd say, look for the flowers. They'll tell you everything. Look for the flowers. What's that in human language? We use the movement you call walking. Or the one called being still. And both you find plants, good things that nourish you. Maybe you call them thoughts, truths, kindness. Something that speaks to you. Then, when you've found something good in the flower, you spread it around. Finally, you tell others about it, so they can make a beeline for it. If I did that, I'd be a happy human. I imagine it's even more of a challenge to be a happy human than being a normal human. But 
I will try. I'll practice a bit on my own. Come back to you. It's been very tiring just being human, so I'm going to take a break now, maybe for a while. Thanks for watching. Oh, and if you ever want advice on how to act like a bee, give me a ring.